am going to introduce the new tool that is ALF Playground. ALF Playground is going to help the developers in reducing the efforts and time in the development and the deployment of the smart contract. The ELF Playground offers a seamless and accessible platform for developers to build, test and deploy smart contracts without the need for any local setup. With built-in features like AI audit, gas fees optimization and GitHub integration, it simplifies the entire smart contract development process. Whether you are writing a new code or modifying existing templates, the ELF Playground provides all essential tools in one place making it an ideal sandbox for both beginners and experienced developers. Elf Playground offers various options in the above navigation bar. We have the home page where we have certain options where we can choose from the existing templates like Hello World, Rotary, NFT, Simple DAO and others. And then we have an option to enter a GitHub URL as well. It means we can import a GitHub repository directly in the Playground. Then we have a workspaces option where you can see all the existing workspaces which you have created. You can create a new workspace. If you want to select a template for the workspace, you can select the template from the drop down. Then you can also upload the files to create a new workspace. Then there is a tutorials option where you can go through the certain tutorials which you can filter based on the difficulty level based on beginner level, intermediate level, advanced level and also on the language which is C-sharp and Solidity. Then we have a deployment option in that you will be able to see the wallet information that the wallet which is created for the instance you are using. So this is going to be the wallet address which you can see on the explorer by clicking on this link. Other than that you can also see all the past deployments happened from your contact address and then these two things are actually connected to the explorer on the elf blockchain this is the proposal id of this smart contract address which i deployed which i can again see on the explorer then there is a github for the elf project if you want to visit github of elf project you can click here then we provide an option to simply toggle between light theme and the dark theme so users can choose based on the preference let's go to, to the home page and understand the different features which elf playground provides so let's try out templates for example if i choose the hello world template i can simply create a new workspace maybe i can call it hello world here and then it will create a new, new workspace for me with the template hello world if i click submit it will create a new workspace for me and will open a new workspace here here i can see the code which is a hello world template and i have different options like ai coded saved as piece building this particular smart contract which is created from the hello world template testing it deploying the smart contract and exporting this smart contract in the local directory sharing this particular project to someone else and then uploading more files if we want to add more and there is an option to add a new file as well let's first understand other options on the home page let's go back to the home page again there we have an option to simply use a GitHub repo as well. Once you click here, you can simply select from a GitHub project. Let's say, for example, I want to select from Elf Samples. If I apply this here, then it will load the projects from for me. So I can simply select the project which I want to use. So let's say I want to choose the to-do project. I can simply choose it and then simply click on submit button to create a new workspace which will be named as to-do workspace. Now this workspace will be created and then you will again see all the options along with the code here, smart contract code here. As we see all the options here again, let's go back to home page to understand other options. So now I think we have covered all the home page options. Now let's go to workspaces. Now let's see whether the workspace which we created are there or not. We can see two workspaces, one with to do name and one with the hello world name. So it means the workspace which we created with the hello world template is already here and also the workspace which we created through the github url is also here now we can also create a workspace by dragging and dropping the files here let's say for example i want to create new workspace with this particular d app that is called an expense tracker d app i will select the source and the test folders where the smart contract code is written 
let's say I call it expense tracker. Now I have called it expense tracker and I will click OK and again it will create a new workspace for me here. Now again I can see the options here and, and I can see the code as well which I just uploaded. Now I have an option to add a file let's say for example a.txt I add here. So I have an option to add the file here as well. Here you can see the file is there. I can rename this file. I have an option to rename this file. Let's say I call it expense tracker .txt. So that this file will be there. So it means we can create certain files. If I want to delete this file, so I can delete this file as well. So now I have tested the option of creating the file, renaming the file and then deleting that file. Now, let's say for example, I now want to build this particular smart contract. I want to test the build feature. We will check the AI audit and other features as well. Let's first build this code. When I click on the build button, it will start the process of building this smart contract. So it means it is simply compiling the smart contract code which is written in this particular code which I just uploaded. So now the build was successful. It means the build process completed successfully. It means the smart contract code which is written is completely correct. Now I can see the test also and let's first check the AI audit part. So now if I click on the AI audit part, it will initially create a port hash. That means this is the unique ID of the existing code which is present in the ELF playground in this particular workspace. So now based on that hash, it will create the report and will give us the option to optimize if there are any. It takes some time to generate the audit report as it checks for the smart contract vulnerabilities and also suggests us some optimization in the smart contract code. Now here we can see the result of our AI audit. If I scroll it up, if I see there are certain suggestions which are given to simply optimize our smart contract. When I go to the code, let's say for example this line, I want to check. So it is asking to update the comment correctly and then align it as well. Similarly, if I go in this particular return statement, it is asking me to add an error message to the return and the block to better handle it. Then you will see such options with an underline which will show the result of the AI audit process. Let's say for example, I want to save the gas fees. It means if I want to optimize the smart contract code which I have written, what it will do is it will suggest us some option if there are some scope of optimizations. So let's say for example in this particular smart contract there was no scope of optimization in terms of saving the gas cost. So it will say no gas fees adjustment needed. So now we have tested the feature of build AI coded and the saving the gas fees. Now let's check the deployment feature. So let's say for example if I click on this deploy button it will simply give us the transaction ID. So whenever we try for start deploying a smart contract on the blockchain, it gets a transaction ID and then the proposals are created for that particular transaction till this transaction gets finalized. The deployment process takes some time from the blockchain because the consensus algorithm runs in the background to verify or to validate whether a particular transaction is correct and to remind you again deployment is also a special type of transaction on the blockchain. Once the deployment completes we will get a unique ID for this smart contract which will be stored on the ELF blockchain. So once the deployment process ends a contract address will be generated that is the unique ID for this particular smart contract. As we can see the smart contract address is visible it means the deployment process was successful. Also, you can see on the left hand side, we have a contract viewer where you can see on which network we are connected as we are now directly interacting with the ELF test net. And here the contract which we deployed is the expense tracker contract. And there we have the read contract functions and the write contract function. In the read contract, you can see there is a list expenses function, get expense function and get initial status function. So if you see the smart contract code in the expense tracker.cs file, you will see these getter functions. So like list expenses, get expense and then get the initial status. Now if you check the write contract, which means the functions which will actually change the state of the smart contract. 
So here you can see the other functions like delete expenses, update expenses, add expense and the initialize function as well. So these are the write function of this smart contract. So it means after deployment, we get all the functions which are part of the smart contract in the contract viewer. Now, if we want to export this code, we can export this code using this export button. So it will download a zip file in our local directory, which we can check here. And here we will be able to see the code. Now, in this share feature, if we click on this share button, what it will do is it will generate a unique share link for this particular project, which can be shared with other developers. So let's say, for example, you are working in a team. So you can simply share the project link and then multiple people can collaborate on the same project and they can generate a new link as well. If they want to share the updated version of this project to someone else. Now, there is another feature to upload files. If you click on this one, then it will give an option to drag and drop some files here. And then we will be simply able to upload the files. Now, as the generate share link is already running, it will generate a share link in some time. Now, as the share link has already been generated, you can click on this link and it will open the project. And here you can see the expense tracker project is again visible with this particular share ID. Let's go back to our deployment as we already have seen the process of sharing the workspace now we can uh, showcase the functionality of the contract viewer so this is the contract viewer here we can see the functions after the deployment let's try adding a new expense here so i have initialized the contract for the better understanding so for example this is a grocery expense with category food and the amount is 100 the currency is usd i write this particular transaction and this will provide me a transaction ID. If I click here, it will redirect me to the Elf Explorer and it will say the transaction is unconfirmed for now. It means the transaction is getting validated. And once it is validated, it will be confirmed. So we'll wait for this transaction to get confirmed before we try to fetch the details of this particular transaction. Now, as we can see, the transaction got confirmed on the Explorer. So it means it has been added to the blockchain. So now we can try listing the expenses for this address. So let's I paste this address here and then if I query this, so it means it is showing one key. So now if I see the output, one item is there, expenses item, and there are details related to this item, related to like expense ID, description, grocery, expense category, amount, the currency, and the owner address, and then created at and the updated timestamp as well. So now we have covered the functionality of the contract the playground. We have covered all these functionality as well. Now let's go back uh, to check the other options. Let's go to tutorials option. So now as we have covered the home page, then the workspaces, then now we are going to the tutorial space. Here you can see multiple tutorials. Let's say for example, if I want to try out a particular tutorial, so I can click here and then I can see tutorial description here so i can simply start uh, reading the tutorial and then start generating the template by clicking on this link and this will simply receive the files which are here and it will get the files and then you will see the hello world contact template here and if there are any changes you can fetch these changes from these files so if you want to change something from the tutorial to the code so you can take reference from here and uh, this is how you can learn alongside the development in an elf playground and as i said here you can see all your past deployments so this was my past deployment which we did and we can change the theme as well so here we have covered the functionality of the elf playground as we initially stated that this is the tool which is going to help developers in terms of developing the smart contract deploying the smart contract testing them and deploying them on the blockchain, doing the AI audit, the gas fees optimization, exporting a particular project to the local repository or local directory and then other options as well. So thank you so much for tuning in.